Darth Vader. Did you see the? Did you guys read this article um, about yeah. Darth Vader? Okay, so <laughs> Darth Darth Vader suit actor in Obi Wan Kenobi claims Disney never paid me for my rehearsals or my reshoots. Keep that in mind, given that Disney's like a gazillion dollar company. Like they um, literally could if they wanted to, but they just, just decided to. to kick this guy while he was down. Yep. Just why not? So the uh, the name of it, his name is Demetrius uh, Bistrevsky. And he is, uh, I think he said he was Russian, but he's like, he's uh, from the Ukraine. <laughs> am I, uh, sorry, unrelated, but like, am I recalling this incorrectly that maybe I have, you know, in the next episodes I'll see. Yeah. But it didn't seem like the stunts or the acting in where Darth Vader was in the suit was that involved. Not like, yet. It seemed like anyone could have, could, could have mm. performed that. So was he going to like do something actually... Poss but it's also true that like in a lot of times when when they film these shows a lot of stuff ends up on the cutting room floor so there could have been they whole just sequences for like a ton of stuff yes and then uh, cut that, it. the editing process is really the last storyteller in film so it's very possible I mean, that whole maybe scene they shouldn't have because they included like thirty seconds of panning like in different angles of Darth Vader's face mm -hmm. with flames going up and it's like with dramatic music and you're just like all right we get it. So <laughs> he's standing in front of the fire. So it says Demetrius Brzezewski, who served as one of the th one of three uh, behind the suit of icon, one of the three actors behind the suit of iconic Star Wars villain Darth Vader in Disney's Obi Wan Kenobi, has accused Disney of refusing to pay him for the time he spent doing rehearsal rehearsals and reshoots in service of the show's production. The Ukrainian-born Brzezewski leveled his accusations against the entertainment conglomerate on May 28th, unconventionally releasing a series of statements, each of which appears to have been either written in his mobile phone's notes app or sent in conversation to an unknown individual and he's minting them as NFTs, which is the funniest it part. It looked like uh, text messages that he minted as NFTs because he was referring to someone named Tom and no one knows who Tom is. Now, that's what, I want the NFT to be a picture of Tom. Dude, I, I want to know who... Maybe it's Tom next. from MySpace. Minimum bid, $2 million. Yeah, so it says he's offering them up for auction on the NFT marketplace OpenSea. Uh, offering up uh, his individual numbered series of statements under the title, the set title of Truth, with 90% of proceeds going to relief efforts related to the current invasion of his own country, Bistrevsky explained in his first piece, yeah, they never paid me for my rehearsals, and though I didn't want to do the reshoots because I didn't want to go into the darkness again... I'm glad I did uh, because it allowed me to make peace with the character and stop fighting with him. They told me to think about the fans. So they totally guilt tripped him until like, he's like, I don't know if I want to do it. And they're like, well, you don't want to let the fans down. That's do so you? That's so evil. Like but he said that this was 31 mm. rehearsals yeah. that were four hours long each time. And he got like the first 16 were for free or something like, like that. What? So uh, it, this is something oddly enough that happened a lot in skating. Like when, when like uh, uh, the way they kept, you from like wanting to get paid would be like well aren't you just because most kids who start skating their dream is to one day get sponsored by these companies that they mm -hmm. loved growing up right Disney is a lot like that for a lot of these people they love using the leverage of like oh isn't it's this an, your passion it's an honor it's, it's an honor oh like God. we're doing you a favor they, they, they would do that to us like, so you're like well I would certainly like to have like health insurance and like to make <laughs> money they're like but we give you free skates and we, we fly you to competitions and it's an honor Paid to an ride exposure. for this. Yeah, it, like it's an honor to ride for this company. And when you're 20 years old, that's all well and good. But when you get older, that's not the same thing. Mm -hmm. And so it feels like that's what they're doing. You're like, well, don't you love don't you love Star Wars? Don't you love playing Darth Vader? You don't want to let the other Vader fans down, do you? It's just so condescending because like the, the like the joke is like you get paid an exposure. Well, you as a company well, that's not really what they did make, to him. No, but like... They pay, they're they paying him in guilt is what they're doing. Understood, but like, I'm sure like the, the angle is kind of like, oh, you know, now you have your name on this like top tier uh, show. Yep. But yeah. it's like, you get paid in exposure. Well, you've made me into a product and a commodity mm -hmm. where my value to you is being exposed, you know? Like, I am your exposure. I am your brand's exposure. Mm -hmm. Like paying me an exposure just means it's you're just defining the method of which you're using me. Yeah. Like that is like I can't take exposure to the bank. It's like, sir, I will have two stakes. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, I've had quite a lot of exposure. So you just write that to the bank. Like, no, that's not how it works. Yep. Uh, yeah. I'm yeah. sure to some extent this this role will 
you know help him it, get more in the future but for now it's looking like i mean at least if he's telling the truth and if these are and i would a personal message it's and, and i'm in uh, english is not his first language i think judging by yeah, the way some, some of the wording of was, was a little uh, unique uh, yeah, least, so, so it says uh he says i did he continued and then after they didn't pay me for the promo shoot i walked they said it was a mistake and offered to pay me double for the reshoots i just took the bare minimum and told them i didn't want to work with them anymore it reminds me of somebody who's like uh like uh you're buying drugs drugs and then they're like you're short you're like oh don't, don't, don't. Uh, sorry i don't have it all now i'll pay you double next week i think he was um also referring to wanting to go back and do this be in the circus he's so probably, if he's a stunt actor he he's like in the circus mm-hmm. i think that's more enjoyable than like being a slave to Disney. Yep. He says, Bistrowski then reflected on how the project was a monkey paw. He says, quote, this project was a monkey paw for me. I spent every moment and every penny training for it, and then every penny I earned to recover spiritually and emotionally from the role. Okay, okay. That's how you know he's not an American, because he wants to recover spiritually from, from yeah. work. I'm done with him. Yeah. Never mind, I'll abuse him. Never mind. Wait, why? why? So, recover spiritually and emotionally. Get out of here with that word Do you think I can't that say. He's too soft. He should have just taken it. I just the little tinks in me can't handle that. You I know, mean, I, I that get, to yourself. I get the instinct, <laughs> but F Disney. Like I, I get the instinct, but Disney sucks. So it says, uh, and then in the end, I didn't even earn a penny. I just survived and endured a year. He added, I haven't been able to fix the AC in my car, but now everyone will think that I'm rich and will get <laughs> mad if I don't tip them enough. When in actual, when in actuality, I was already broke by the time we got to reshoots but he says but then it says uh, and then so he's going through now each of these statements is a separate as far as i understand is a separate and nft just so you guys know the minimum bid on each of these statements <laughs> is getting slowly like incrementally raised so these first ones the minimum bid is at like the equivalent of about eighteen thousand dollars each that i don't know if insane. anyone is actually bidding on them Maybe this was just because he doesn't want to have a Twitter account. He yeah. doesn't want to get like quote tweeted. And this is the only way he says, but I told them the truth and told them I didn't want to work with a, a company that steals from its own people, said the actor. But honestly, I don't want any of it anymore. I'm happy that I can escape and go to Japan with close friends of mine and just do circus. Uh, so, you know, like maybe he's like, maybe Cirque du Soleil or something like that. That'd be cool. Thank you. Said my contract was so bad. They didn't pay me f- overtime or meal penalties or forced calls and they still turned around and took more. And I do have a, I do have a problem uh, to Dane's point. Like, you know, at a certain point, you're responsible for your own behavior. Mm-hmm. And you're like, if they ask you to... D- it's not like he's breaking the contract by, by he pulling He accepted out. a bad contract. He, accept- he accepted a bad contract. But also they're asking... He, he's not breaking the contract because he's not doing the stuff that was asked of him. They're asking him to do more. And he's saying yes when he should say either no or pay me up front. Uh, right. Like, and so, like, he, it's kind of on his own... Uh, but like, it, not only did he get a bad contract, but then they didn't even live up to the promises of the contract. Exactly. So it's like, I and that's messed up for a company like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you guys are like, like you know, how billions upon millions. You know, he said uh, they never paid me for my rehearsals, which was in my contract, and because of it, I didn't qualify for insurance. So I had insurance. So I had to pay out of pocket for all the PT and sports massage while training. Uh, he says, and uh, I got less residuals because of it. Tom never paid me for them. I told you he did. I told you he did, and he wouldn't feel bad, and uh, and you wouldn't feel bad. So uh, it refers. Uh, it should be noted that at present it is unclear who specifically the Tom in Bistrevsky's statement is referring to. Pro- I guess uh, yeah. like maybe uh, maybe his manager, his agent, or uh, sure. somebody like a, li- a liaison at the company. Then says, this first one titled "The Aftermath of a Broken Promise" is the first one he raised the bid. Um, oh God, from like titles. eighteen thousand to four hundred and fifty-two thousand dollars. Do you want to read that? Sure. How young is this person? I don't know. I don't know. What is his age? Um, he said, "But I'm going to walk away from this project. It's been a magic experience, but I also can't take any more with the disrespect and just simply no regards of human decency. Mm. I've been giving a thousand percent in my training and trying to show up any way I can." But I'm done being the bigger person. Brett, I'm, I'm getting living mad. off my credit cards. I can't even look my landlord in the eyes because I haven't paid my full amount for rent for five months. I can barely pay for my own food and gas. I was called yesterday while I was at home to Mary, move my stop. car. <laughs> stop. I'm not gonna stop because I was parked in someone else's spot. I'm Darth <laughs> Vader. I'm Darth Vader, and I can't even look the kindest man I know, a police officer, in the eyes because I can't pay my own rent. I'm simply done. 
I have nothing else to give. Who <laughs> cares? Uh, who I don't know, cares? Who is Olga? If you have it contractually, buddy, that's legally binding. <laughs> Get your money. You know, stop. Oh, my God. I was going to say stop freaking crying about it. You know, you can't say it's listen. You can't say it's <laughs> magical. And then be like uh, abuse isn't magical. <laughs> I don't get smacked yeah, around Stockholm the syndrome with Disney. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't get smacked in the face. It's like, oh my god, ow, that was a magical experience. No, <laughs> be consistent. Okay, they owe me money. It's in the contract. <laughs> F you, pay me. He can't fight Disney. The the, they will have an endless parade of lawyers that he will never get through. Listen, he just needs a hashtag to like trend marginally. These companies get three emails from the same guy and they fire them. You know, these companies get two emails from a blue haired. You know what? Hashtag Vader two. Yeah, <laughs> I, I got that Bruh. one. That was subtle. This, these people get three emails from some blue haired people. You know what I'm talking about? And they're like, <laughs> absolutely. End the project. Dismantle it. We can't handle it. And like no one's watching anything. Yep. And like this guy knows that's the wave. And yet he... Well, he's also be doing his best business because he's selling them as NFTs. But this nobody's not... going to bid. And somewhere, like, I'm just saying I don't believe he's going to give this to charity if he can't even pay his own rent. Listen, or at least not I 90% was, of it. When yeah. I was an intern, I got paid $10 a day. A day. The day ends and Dane got $10. Not an hour passes and Dane got $10. When was this? This was... Um, Nine years ago. He's not talking about here. He's talking about. No, 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 no. Just so everyone's clear on <laughs> that. Hey, everyone. They <laughs> found here. I'm not an intern here. I'm the <laughs> marketing manager. Yep. I'm doing quite well. Thank you. Anyway, I was an intern back in Puerto Rico nine years ago. <laughs> I got paid $10 <laughs> a day to work eight to 10 hours as a production <laughs> assistant, humiliating myself. <laughs> and this guy. Hard work is not humiliating, Dan. <laughs> yeah. Don't get him Buddy, <laughs> I can find you some humiliating to hard work, okay? Let me tell you. Anyway, this guy <laughs> gets to play Darth Vader, put it in his credit, and he's being a whole schizo about it. I, I like it, but I love it, but I want more money. Yeah. Pick a side. Stick with it. I don't Be consistent. Stand up for yourself if you need to. Get paid, boo-boo, but either cr like pick a tactic. It's either flattery or it's insults. So it continues, and he says, uh, <laughs> and we were trying to make do with the equipment and trying to address the notes that director Deborah Chow gave us while being hypercognitive of who was walking by because there was random construction workers, PAs, even a COVID compliance officer meeting happening during one of our sessions, the actor said. He has like weirdly, really, really good language at certain points, and then at other points, maybe it's just typos. He continued, <clears throat> well, everyone is watching us train. We weren't sure who could see us rehearse bits from, from scenes we've worked on and who couldn't. So we would have to go through start and stops every time people who didn't know we, uh, every time people we didn't know uh, were walking through. One time the light got shut off on us uh, in the stunt space mid-session and we went to 16 only to find out that it was full of background people and we didn't feel comfortable at all, at, comfortable at all training in front of them, Bistrovsky said. So Why? the whole time we were wondering if this was happening because we were both Russian. This was in 2021. This is not like it, I, they yeah, wouldn't have cared. But he's a because the tension mm -hmm. between the two countries he's is escalating. Which, but this happened in 2021 like, well before this make what any is going sense. on right now. He elaborated. We were both thinking this has nothing to do with us but we were just trying to show up and give the character and Deb the respect they deserve I wanted to clarify that um, I'm calling BS at least on that part there granted yeah. Hollywood do, Hollywood does like to make Russia the bad guy in just about every movie but it's cause I'm Russian yep. mm. So this is an afterthought. How yeah. would people know? He he ups, <laughs> he, he, he ups the ante with the minimum bid vodka. again next oh, yeah. it's nine hundred thousand dollars on Insane. the one titled Slippery Slope. My agent warned me that I was walking a slippery slope and that I might not be able to work with them again. And I said, why would I want to work with a company that exploits me? Interesting question. Uh, they'll just do it again. 
let's just teach them Which that they can't do this to do. everyone and some people can't be bought or replaced oh well you can help so. pay me <laughs> yeah. help pay me to teach them a lesson is what is what he's saying <laughs> uh and, and i do think that this is kind of like uh what was it like the demi lovato she's like i might lose Thank some you. fans over this but right. f donald trump and then the <laughs> next <laughs> one <laughs> the next one's minimum bid is 1.8 million dollars i think i got that in my back hold on <laughs> you get, what, who wants to go half? With, bid who that? wants to go half with me on one of these NFTs? <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll frame it. I'll, in, I'll, in like ten years, uh -huh. uh, I'll go half. It'll with be someone. worth a lot. Listen, the way he described his financial situation, I give that guy twenty bucks of a Panera sandwich, and he'll tell me his whole family story. Okay, no, this guy is not gonna get a one point eight million dollar NFT for anything. <laughs> he for said anything. Would you be able to look into why my contract still hasn't been honored and I haven't been paid for my rehearsals exceeding the initial fifteen freebies? I know Disney is strapped for cash right now, but thirty one unpaid four hour rehearsals requested by the director seems a little excessive. They're, Thanks. Their uh, most of their CEOs got huge bonuses during COVID. Yeah, they're they're totally Disney is totally strapped for cash right now. This is how much of a what? mark this guy is. This is how much of a mark yeah, this these, guy is. These companies abuse people for loving these properties. This guy got went to one rehearsal and was like, I didn't get paid. He went to a second rehearsal and was like, I didn't get paid. <laughs> Hey, he did that 15 times. <laughs> well, that was agreed upon, though. 15 times. And he's like, gosh, where's my money? <laughs> oh, guess I'll go to the next one. <laughs> but Bro. that was, wasn't that in his contract? It was like previously yeah. agreed upon that he'd do 15 free. And then he did 16 other ones that weren't supposed to be for free, but yeah. didn't have any payment. The rehearsals it. and the reshoots. Yeah. And it says down here. So after like uh, the base pay and all the taxes taken out, he got like $900 for $942 for like a week's worth of uh, very, uh, they, they called it awesome. very hard labor or whatever. So, uh, you know what? Uh, I, it, it just, Dane is kind of like very anti this guy. I'm very anti Disney. And I think we sit somewhere in the middle of just, they're all kind of awful. Listen, I, I want to support him. I want to <laughs> so bad. I've had so many terrible jobs, bro. I've been there. But you know what? When I had a <laughs> terrible job, I wasn't like, thanks everyone for the experience. I sure look. I was like, this sucked. Pay yep. me. F you pay me. Yep. Mm. So, Sorry, super chats. Super <laughs> chats. <laughs> Anyways, guys. Um, Hava Owens said, I'm a little late, but... Mike David from Red Bar is the best hate watcher out there. He goes after anybody who makes a fool of themselves. I've, I've heard, but never seen. He also said, these actors are so cringe, dude. Yes, they are. So true. Everyone like this video right now. Yes. <laughs> I'm angry. Do. Everyone like it. <laughs> Caber right 2X now. said, Sir Brett versus <laughs> Dave, the Caribbean... Caribbean Berserker? I think it's Caribbean Berserker in this context. Caribbean or Caribbean? It's like, it's like whenever people say Pirates of the Caribbean. I don't but they know say, at this point. Everyone's been talking about it so much. They said like, uh, there's like a, speaking of the power of memetics, somebody's like, I always say Pirates of the Caribbean, but if it's just Caribbean, I say Caribbean. It was and you always, somehow knew what they were talking about in the meme. Yeah, it was always Caribbean in reference to the movie. But it's Caribbean otherwise. Yeah. Uh, Waffle Sensei said, can I get more of Dane screaming like a blue-haired email campaigner, please? Music to my ears. I love you, Waffles. <laughs> uh, my ears are not... It's not music to my ears, which is why Dane's I mic is turned that down. I enjoyed actually. Uh, so now you understand why Dane's mic is turned down very low. I'm, I'm working through things. <laughs> yes. We're all we're all working through. We're all we're all working through something right I'm now. Work. It's been a week. <laughs> we can tell. It, it's, it's been a hell of a week this week. Thanks for watching this clip, guys. If you want to see full episodes or follow us on social media, links are in the description below. Bye. Bye.